There we go. There we go. Oh no. That's pathetic. Woo! Guys, what is good? It is a fine day over here on the channel. It's a little little rainy. I don't know if y'all can hardly even see, but uh, but it is. Just trust me on that. I'm meeting a buddy I haven't fished with in a while at a spot we've never hit, and it is completely gated, But and it looks so good. It looks so good. That's the problem. Because there's a bridge over here. If I can find the sidewalk, we'll just walk out on the bridge and fish this thing. Let me hit the Google Maps, pop it in the old satellite view real fast, drive over to this cul-de-sac. Yep. All right. We're making a move around the corner, boys. We have the rods. We've got the bait. We've got more baits uh, ready to go we've got everything ready to go except for us we're just trying to figure out how to get into this place I'm gonna knock on somebody's door if I have to oh my gosh it looks so good there's the bridge we are definitely going stealth mode there's like parking spots right here which is too perfect okay Bryce isn't even here yet I'm just gonna go take a sneak peek this is not somebody's backyard so let me just walk it down real fast yeah, that ain't gonna fly. Well, we had to make a move, but that's the type of homes we're fishing in front of. Where did Bryce go? Dude! You see all the, uh, this place looks so good. You see all this yes, I did see a couple yeah, no fishing signs. Yeah. We're parked right behind the fence here, and then on this side, it's a home for sale. So hopefully nobody's there. Anyways. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Dude, this has gotta be, look at this. I can almost dunk on that. Is that regulation? <laughs> All right, y'all, it's a little windy for the GoPro, but it seems like half an hour later, we are rolling up to the spot. Oh, you know what? I've fished this one before. I just park over there and I come in from a different direction. I was gonna say, we're gonna be next to this pond, these ponds that I've hit before. Dude, right here, where this inflow is, we might as well hit that. Yeah, that was surprising. No way. Bryce is on with the first one. All right, come on, tell me it's something on the crank. Is that a cat? You got catfished. Yo, that's a decent catfish on the big old crank. <laughs> you have fun with that. <laughs> I got the uh, fountain. I got the good old fountain. But you can get a little closer. Got lucky on that one right there, I'll tell you what. I think I got everything. Dang. Usually when you get snagged on the drop shot rig, your little hook is locked in tight on something, but it must have just been the weighter. The weight, I guess. I don't know. Got lucky. I guess I'm fishing on this side now. Fitting to see if there's anything hiding up in here. Maybe on this side. Let's go try that one over there and see if they hit. You got one, huh? No way. Ooh. Yo, that's what's up. Bryce got himself a three plus over here on that crank. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Yeah, I was just thinking about a burning pause, a burning pause, boom, right on the pause. Somebody's gonna recognize this fish. I know, right? Look at that melt. Got it on the slow mo. I think they're on just the reaction when they see that. That's probably the better bet. There we go. First one out there by the uh, fountain. All right. Man, me and Bryce are going back and forth talking about how good that crank is working. And we finally get one here. He's a little guy. He's a little tight. Got a nice pattern. Hey, that's a drop shot fish for sure. <laughs> little guy, but hey, we need a bite, man. Bryce is a uh, three to my one. All right, all right, all right. We got a couple clips for Instagram. I was wondering if anything was going to hit on this drop shot. Let me tell you what, I have been throwing it. And speaking of throwing, I'm going to have to get him out deep because it's real shallow right here. Uh-oh, where'd my worm go? Oh, no. I was about to say, please don't be one and done. My backpack's over there with all the tackle. Perfect, perfect. I was just working it slow, too. I'm like, you know what? Screw this. So which species will you like this? If I was just going to get one, I would get the scorpion. Yeah. 
because it's not much more than the Corrado and it's like twice as cheap as the Metanium. That was Bites, but it's, it's, it's half the price of the Metanium, but it has the same braking with the auto. And it's very exclusive. No one gets the Scorpion. The Scorpions you have to import, like you still have to buy those like on eBay. You can get every one of the other ones here locally, the Corrado, the Metanium, and the SLX. You can get them all locally. It's black and red. If I had one, I would definitely not get the Corrado. I would just get the SLX in that case because it's like 50 bucks cheaper or whatever. And the SLX works just as good. And the Corrado, I feel like I've had more backlashes with than any of them for some really? reason, yeah. Like if someone's just trying to get their first one, I'd say get the SLX because it's really good for 200, you know what I mean? You could even find it on sale maybe for like 180 somewhere. But if you're talking about which one I like best for the money though, the Scorpion is where it's at. The finish is nicer than the SLX. Have you had that one for yeah, I've had that one the longest. It needs a service like the gears uh, on the Retrieve are a little clanky, but other like we've dropped that one a few times, dude. Like it's, it's like scuffed up, but uh, it's definitely the best for the money. The Metanium's not worth it. Oh, damn. Yeah, the Metanium's just bragging rights. And of course, all the vloggers are gonna like use it for the title to get the views, which gets the money. It's just too much money. Yeah, you can find them cheaper. I got mine at Fun and Sun actually, whenever they were doing like a 15% off deal, but I still paid like 450 or 460 or something with, you know, tax and all that. I don't know, for me too, but the reason I got it is because again, I wanted to like, it's like say you know metanium dc unboxing metanium dc first impressions metanium dc like one month review you know what i mean like if i really was doing that i'd get a lot more clicks off of that reel and it would be it'd be fine that favorite rod video is the most i've ever made off one video though like why i stopped using them or whatever and that that one made me like 135 bucks i think right now they just lied to me i mean i'm not really stressed and i like the rods like the look and everything everyone a lot of people talked about how they were poorly made but I think that's any any company you're gonna hear positive and negative, you know what I mean? I wasn't tripping about that. But yeah, I've snapped a lot of rods, you know? We probably better walk back if you gotta be to work in a little bit. Man, I got one. Bryce got like three or four over here. He's gotta split and get to work. I got a little bit more time before sunset, so I'm going to uh, probably hop around the neighborhood here, see if there's anything else in the area, so y'all stick around for a minute. We're gonna try and catch a few more than just the one dink. Y'all, check us out. We are pretty excited. I have got in my hands for the first time ever on the channel, the little Juicy Finesse Jig. I'm gonna be throwing him with a Watermelon Red Flake Bandito Bug. Oh, this is gonna be devastating, but this is way too much of a Bandito Bug for said little Juicy. Oh, wow, that looks so dangerous. I'm freaking pumped about this. Well, this looks sweet. Fish this for just half a second. Carry it on out. There's a nice little point right there. Sweet. Oh, got one. Oh no, he had it. Oh man, I missed him. Oh, I thought I had another bite. God dang. Well, we've made it out to the open water of this uh, course pond. Threw around the jig for a minute, found out the grass was no good on the bottom for it, but I think it's changed up out here. So the, uh, the bottom terrain is uh, not as bad now for something on the bottom, I don't think, but I'm still feeling the Texas rig despite that fact. I'm curious about fishing this dock right here. Gonna get that bite and I'm alternating uh, popping and swimming the crawl as well just to see what might hit, you know? If they want something on the move or something on the bottom. Oh! Wow, just broke it off. I was swimming the crawl back in. A big wake just took it. Go to set the hook, snap. That's pathetic. I'm assuming that was a decent fish, but who knows? Sometimes the teeth just get the line just right. That sucks. Literally, I've caught one fish today, and I'm not worried about not catching the fish as much as how exciting the video would have been for you guys. I really, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that line was even frayed, man. Like, I've been checking my line more and more lately. That's a heartbreaker right there. Let's tie something else on that's on the move, though, because Bryce has been getting them on the move. That was swimming it. All right, we're not stressing out over here. We're retying. Let's go. All right, y'all, we have rigged up the grass hero. I'm gonna give this thing a whirl. There we go. Got one. On the swim jig, sweet. All right. A solid one, you guys, on the grass hero. We just switched it up and it worked. Oh my gosh, there we go, boys. And picks, I am super stoked on this one because it is my first ever catch on the swim jig, the Guggen Squad Grass Hero. That's with the little saucy swimmer on the battery point three inch. And it pulled in the Hoggy Nick Hogster. That, that'd be hot. Go on. There we 
There we go. There we go. Oh no. That felt like a big one right there. Big one. That could have been. I've just been missing fish today, guys. Guys, the rain is picking back up, and I just decided to make a hot swap over to a clutch. Like I can already feel I've got grass on the first cast. But over on this side was where it was definitely more shallow. So after missing that big one on the swim jig, treble sound reassuring. At some point, this thing should do pretty good. Okay, haven't caught grass yet. There we go, but we caught a fish. Wow. All right, so first good cast with the clutch. We actually get one. And uh, this one's this one's at least two pounds, I'd say. Oh, he's, he's, he's feeling all right. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. That's what we're talking about, guys. Whew, got my heart racing. This one's almost thinned out compared to a lot of the bass we've been catching lately. We can put them on the scale. It's been a while. Getting some catches. I know you're two pounds. Don't lie to me. Yeah, there we go. 2.42, so just shy of two and a half right there, you guys. Got him. Here in the shallows. Ooh. Oh, yep. Yep, you saw me, feller. Go on, little feller. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like it's been a minute since I've had a decent moving bite, so if I can secure these things, I am pretty excited. Alright, it's starting to rain pretty good. Let's take the backpack. Oh, maybe. I think we've got another taker. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure that fish just came off. Oh, there, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I think we just got chased. Last minute switch. See if the bright colors on the chartreuse and shad chatterbait can't get their attention while at the same time being able to work it a little bit slower because uh, the grass is just so close to the surface here. That clutch keeps getting caught up. I'm thinking this chatterbait might be a little bit better just because you're able to slow it down a hair. We'll see if that theory is correct here in just a minute. At this point, my feet are pretty much soaked. I think I should get back to the truck and I will catch up with you guys when I'm there. See y'all in a second. Y'all, it is no longer raining. It's actually the next uh, couple days later. I, when I got to the truck, it was like pouring down and I decided I am not gonna be freezing cold doing an outro in the dark cabin of the truck. I figured I'd rather give you something over here at the house that y'all could enjoy. I thought the footage and the vibes were real cool from like a minute and a half to four minutes into the video. Sometimes you just get rocking and rolling with a cool edit. We're tossing in more slow motion. I figured out how to dial this camera in very well, the a7 III. If you guys wanna pick this camera up, it is insanely top notch and you can get it with the link in the pinned comment and at the top of the description. Description. I absolutely love this thing. Basically, I have it now to where I can just switch between one and two on the top dial of this camera, and it goes straight from my 24 frames a second, 120 frames per second slow mo. And so it just switches every setting over for me. It's super sick. You can do it on the fly, so you expect to see a lot more slow motion releases and footage in future videos. And awesome B roll because of me finding out how easy that switch was instead of having to go through the menus like I used to. Thank you guys for also enjoying the first catch with me on the Guggen Squad Grass Hero Jig. The thing was thick, I was swimming it, I was popping it, kind of yo-yoing technique, I was varying things up, I got hits fishing it both ways, highly encourage you guys to pick up a couple, and with that being said, also everything on the Guggen Squad website is now 15% off with a new code exclusively for you guys and my followers over on Instagram, so if you guys want to save 15% on some Guggen Gold merch, uh, maybe some different baits, hard baits, soft baits, everything, these grass heroes, you can get 15% off now using code Weston or going through the link in the description. Thank you guys so much, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.